and y belongs to v. They are disjoint. So it also means that x belongs to u but y is not in u because y is in v as the open sets are disjoint. And since y is in v, therefore x cannot be in v. So in other words, every two t2 t2 space is t1 space because for any two distant points x and y, we have two open sets such that uh, for the points x and y, we have two open sets u and v such that x belongs to u but y does not belong to u and uh, y belongs to v but x is not in v. So we can say here, it's a, can write it as remark, every T2 space, every T2 space is T1 space. And that's the example of T2 space. Because uh, for these two distinct points X and Y, I have disjoint open sets. So that this open set, it contains a point X and this one, it contains a point Y. So that means every metric space is T2 space. That's the example of T2 space. And every T1 space is T2 space, but converse is not true. But converse is not true. Every T1 space need not be T2 space. So, so that's an exercise for you. You can do it easily. You have to construct a topological space X tau such that that topological space is T1 but not T2. But not T2. So show that show that T1 space need not be need not be T2 space. Show that T1 space need not be T2 space. This is page number 4. T1 space need not be T2 space. Okay. This, uh, uh, we have a note here, T2 space is called, is also called Hausdorff space. T2 space is also called Hausdorff space. It's also called Hausdorff space. Now next, uh, we have a theorem uh, for T1 space. Uh, it is the necessary and sufficient condition for a topological space to be T1 space. So that is this theorem. A topological space, a topological space x comma tau is is a T1 space. Is a T1 space if and only if every singleton subset this is singleton subset of x that means x belongs to x and it's a subset of x is closed is closed means that its complement so its complement belongs to the topology and topology of x okay uh, so uh, let's prove this theorem. It's very simple. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, so suppose uh, we assume that uh, that uh, uh, x tau is a T1 space. Assume that. Assume that x comma tau is a T1 space. Is a T1 space. We need to show that every single ten subset of X is closed. So let uh, this be any single ten subset of X. We show that we we show that this is closed. So to prove it's closed, we need to prove that its complement is open. To prove this singleton is closed, we need to show that we need to show that we need to show that its complement is open. That's the definition of closed set in topological space. Its complement is open. So uh, to prove uh, 
its components open so uh, let's choose uh, any point uh, in this uh, complement so let we'll show that it's union of open sets eh? so which will give that this is an open set because union of open sets is again an open set so let y belongs to this set its complement it means that y is not equal to x so choose any y in this so every y is not equal to x because it is in the complement of singleton set x so for every such y i can choose two open sets because uh, every such y is not equal to x and since our topological space is t1 space so by definition of t1 space i can choose two open sets say uy and vy obviously these two open sets depends on y because for each y this y is not equal to x and for each such pair i can choose two open sets say uy and vy such that uy contains y but does not contain the point x and vy contains x but does not contain the point y so then then there exist open sets uy and vy such that such that y belongs to uy and x belongs to vy and x belongs to vy but 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 x is not in uy x is not in uy and this y it's not in vy it's not in vy y is not in vy so uh, let's take uh, now uh, you can see this uh, this is true for each y y belongs to u y then uh, then uh, then you can see that uh, this gives uh, this gives uh, uh, your x complement is equal to union of such sets u y where y belongs to x complement it's equal to this because each such u y does not contain the point x so if i will take all union so as uh, this uh, singleton y it's always subset of uy because y belongs to uy so i will take the union of all singleton sets uh, which belongs to x complement then this will be subset of union of uy so but here on this side it will be x complement so x complement is subset of union of uy so you can say this uh, this y y is y is not y belongs to x complement so for every y belongs to x uh, complement complement of the singleton set x this y is in some open set uy but x is not in that open set uy and x is in the open set vy but y is not in the open set vy so so uh, one can conclude that uh, i will if i will take all the unions of these singleton sets see, so if i will take this union where y belongs to x complement its subset of union uy where y belongs to x complement but this one it's equal to whole x complement because you are taking this all the singleton subsets of x complement and you are taking union of all those singleton subsets of x complement so it's equal to whole x complement it will be subset of this y belongs to x complement okay so that means the equality holds because this one is always subset of the x complement because each such open set does not contain the point x so that equality holds since each ui is open so this implies this implies x complement is open so which shows that singleton set x is closed so uh, now uh, we prove conversely conversely assume that 
Conver converse is very simple. Conversely, assume that let's uh, close this. Uh, conversely, assume that uh, every singleton subset of X is closed. We show that uh, X is T1 space. So for this, we have to prove that for any two distinct points X and Y in X, we must have two open sets. Okay. So let's uh, let X comma Y belongs to X such that X is not equal to Y. Then by definition, since every singleton set is closed, so therefore these two singleton subsets of X, they are closed. So thus, their complements are open. Are open. And, so these sets are open and Y belongs to X complement, it's an open set. And X belongs to Y complement. But X is not in the complement of X. And Y is not in the complement of Y. So that's what uh, we need uh, to prove here. Uh, we must uh, have two open sets. So these are the open sets, X complement and Y complement, such that this open set contains a point Y but, but does not contain the point X. And this open set, it contains a point X but does not contain the point Y. So Y, Y is there because it's the complement of singleton X. Uh, so that any point which is not equal to X must be in this complement. So Y is not equal to X, therefore Y belongs to this complement. So that proves the theorem. This uh, uh, gives the necessary and sufficient condition for the topological space uh, uh, X to be T1 space. To be T1 space. So next, uh, in the next theorem, we'll show that uh, the product of Hausdorff spaces are product of T2 spaces, again a T2 space. So next theorem. So it's uh, any uh, product of any product of Hausdorff spaces, or uh, you can say T2 spaces is again a T2 space, is again a T2 space or Hausdorff space. Proof uh, uh, under product topology, so under. Product topology. Product topology is already done in the course uh, topology one. It's uh, it's actually the weakest topology on the Cartesian product of topological spaces, which makes uh, each projection continuous. That's uh, the product topology and this uh, the cross product, the product of spaces. So uh, proof. Uh, let uh, let's take uh, this uh, family of uh, Hausdorff spaces. Let x alpha comma tau alpha, where alpha belongs to some index at lambda, be the family of family of Hausdorff spaces. Hausdorff spaces. Okay. We show that we show that the product of these spaces alpha belongs to lambda is again is again is again a Hausdorff space. 
housed or space under under the product topology under under the product topology okay okay so to prove its uh, d2 space or hausdorff space we choose any two distinct points in this product space and we need uh, we uh, we have to find two open sets in in the product topological space uh, so let's choose any two points let x comma y belongs to this product with x not equal to y with x not equal to y so then uh, then what's this x actually since it's the it's in the product space so it's uh, some top so if it's a uh, suppose if it's the product of two uh, topological spaces say x1 cross x2 then x will be the order pair two tuple and y will also be the order pair two tuple and suppose it's the product of three spaces say x1 cross x2 cross x3 then x will be three tuple y will be three tuple in that case but here it uh, it's the product uh, it's a general product it's uh, it may be infinite uh, countably infinite or it may be uncountably uncountable so uh, uh, we uh, can write this x as it's a like tuple it's like this x alpha alpha belongs to lambda so it depends upon the lambda or uh, depends upon the number of topological spaces here if uh, say lambda it's the, it's it's suppose uh, it it's uh, uh, it can it consisting of two points only say one and two index set then it will be x1 cross x2 then at that time this x will be x1 comma x2 because lambda is the index set is 1 comma 2 or if the index set is 1 2 3 1 comma 2 comma 3 then in that case this product will be x1 cross x2 cross x3 and the point x will be x1 comma x2 comma x3 3 tuple and y will be y1 comma y2 comma y3 so y is equal to like this it's a uh, y alpha alpha belongs to lambda but since x is not equal to y therefore at least at one component they are not equal so so there must exist so thus there exist say alpha naught in lambda such that so alpha naught x alpha naught is not equal to y alpha naught so alpha naught component okay so now uh, since uh, since this x alpha naught comma y alpha naught they belong to x alpha naught this topological space x alpha naught and x alpha naught is x uh, x alpha naught is uh, it's a uh, it's housed out of space x alpha naught is housed out of space so since uh, this x alpha naught is housed out of space and x alpha naught like here uh, this x alpha naught y alpha naught they are not equal they are distinct points of x alpha naught and x alpha naught is housed out of space so thus 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 there exist say u alpha naught there exist open sets there exist open sets u alpha naught comma v alpha naught in x alpha naught disjoint in fact they are disjoint open sets so there is disjoint open set hausdorff space disjoint open sets v alpha u alpha naught and x alpha naught in x alpha naught such that x alpha naught belongs to the first open set say u alpha naught and y alpha naught belongs to the second open set v alpha naught so let's define this let u is equal to product of v alpha alpha belongs to lambda and v is equal to product of u alpha alpha belongs to lambda where so this is very important here where each v alpha is equal to x alpha and each u alpha is equal to x alpha except for 
alpha is equal to alpha naught. For alpha is equal to alpha naught, V alpha, V alpha naught is V alpha. It's not equal to X alpha naught. But for the other sets, uh, it's uh, it's X alpha. It's X alpha. So then, uh, then U and V are disjoint open sets. Then U and V are disjoint open sets in the product space x alpha alpha belongs to lambda in fact they are actually sub basic open sets as you have already done it in the chorus topology one they are sub basic open sets actually so in particular they are also open sets so they are the open sets and they are also disjoint because uh, at uh, least one component is different for any two points so they are different at least one component because these u alpha naught v alpha naught they are disjoint they are disjoint with the uh, with uh, this x belongs to u because x is x alpha uh, y alpha belongs to lambda and y is y alpha y alpha belongs to lambda so x is in u and y is in v but what's actually x x is x alpha actually alpha is in lambda it's in u because its first component is in x1 second is in x2 and and the alpha naught component uh, which is in v uh, alpha naught and the other elements uh, other components they belong to x alpha so it is in uh, it's in uh, u actually because u is this product u is the product so thus uh, we have disjoint open sets uh, for these two points x and y and hence and is this product and is this product x alpha alpha and lambda is t2 space it is t2 space it's t2 space so uh, uh, thank you uh, uh, now in the next lecture uh, we will uh, see some more properties of Hausdorff space. In fact, uh, in the next lecture, we are going to prove that every compact subset of Hausdorff space is closed. It's not true in general. In general topological space, compact spaces need not be Hausdorff, need not be closed. But in case of Hausdorff spaces, compact spaces are, are compact sets are always closed, and that property is very important for a Hausdorff space. Thank you.